Hey guys, Eftdo here, and today I'm back with an all new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to download shaders for Minecraft. Now, it's a little bit different from downloading mods. Although you do have to download a shaders mod to begin with, there are other downloads you have to download as well, but you put in a separate folder, which if you don't know where to put it, it could be quite confusing and you may struggle to get it to work. Hence why I'm making this video. So, the first download link we got here is for a shaders mod which is basically just what you can then put shaders onto, almost like the Forge equivalent. You could actually put this on Forge as well. So if I scroll down here and we'll look for the download link, you might have to look around sometimes because it's not always obvious, especially if they've got other links as well. See, there's other shaders which we'll be going on to in a minute. But this here is the download link you want for actually this mod. So once you've clicked that, it will take you to an AdFly link, and that's basically just you have to wait a couple seconds and then hit the skip button, and it will let you just download it. So you hit skip add, and once that has done that you just hit keep and I would generally recommend getting rid of this pretty quickly because they do start playing ads and it's really irritating so once you've got this here you could then go into your start window and go percent app data percent and then hit the enter button and go to your dot minecraft mods and that will take you to your forge area which we've, done, we've been on before hence why I went through that quite quickly Alternatively, you could hit the Windows and the R button, and that will take you to the same place as well. Again, it's just the .minecraft and then the mods folder. Alternatively, however, you could move it to the desktop, which is what we're going to be doing today, and just open it up. Now, this is if you wanted to create a separate profile for your shaders, so you don't have it on the same one as mods, because both mods and shaders can be quite laggy, especially shaders. So if you don't have a great computer, it may be too much for your computer to handle, in which case it's probably one or the other you're going to be going for. So you just click OK, and then have it set to 1.8, not Optifine or anything, so... Unless, of course, you want to play 1.7, so you can do that instead. Then just hit the OK button, and it will create your profile, so that when you next load Minecraft, you can go in the bottom left, and you can edit profile and change it to your shaders one. Now, once you've got that, of course, it doesn't actually help you at that point, because you still need to actually get some shaders to put on that mod. So here we've got Builder's Shaders mod. Now, this is a very good one as well. There are a lot of others. i put them in the description, some other alternatives. But I personally quite like this one, you've got pictures of it here, and just scroll down to the download links. Now this is a good one because it actually shows you different download links as well, depending on how good your PC is. Now I'm going to be going for the top one here, which is recommended for weaker PCs. Of course, that should be quite useful because I doubt everybody watching will have a fantastic PC. But if you do, then you, of course you can be looking at these other ones for higher end, better FPS shaders. Then just skip add here. And this will actually redirect you to a media fire in this case. Other mods may not do this, they may just instantly download like we saw before. But in this case, you do actually have to go through media fire. Just hit the download here, and you want to close that down pretty quick because that opens a really annoying ad. So just get rid of that pretty quickly. And then we'll get rid of this again. So now we've just got our download here. Now this time we're going to go back to our roaming folder. Go to percentage app data percent. Hit the enter button and we're back where we were. This time we're going dot Minecraft, but we're not going to go into mods folder. We're actually going to be going into the shaders pack. There it is, and just open that up. And you actually want to keep this in its WinRAR folder or whichever folder you've got it in, or you know the thing you extract it from. In my case, it's WinRAR, and you just put it in like that. Now, when I first started doing this, I actually kept opening them, and it wouldn't work. So you just want to keep it like it is, like that. No, no hassle of anything else. Just put it straight in, and then now that you can, you know, now that you've done all that. You can load up your Minecraft and we'll see the difference it's made. Okay, so now that you've loaded your Minecraft, this time using the shaders profile, you see that when you pause the game and go to options, you should now have the shaders button. Now this will be there whether you did the second download or not, because this is actually the mod that's allowing you to have this button. Once you click on it, you'll see what the second download was, which is, is the shaders here. Now there are you could put multiple on here, like you could resource packs, and all you do is click it here. Now I will it can take a while depending on your PC. That was actually very quick for me that time. Often it's a little bit more laggy, depends on the powerfulness of the shader, I guess. We went for the the less powerful one in the download, so I guess that's helping us out here. And there you go, you've got your shaders on, it looks pretty fantastic. You could, of course, choose some other ones. I've got multiple in the description if you're not personally happy with this one. I think this one looks pretty good. While you're in the description, if you'd like to check out some of my other videos on mods, which could be quite helpful for you on how to download mods or how to edit mods, then be sure to check that out as well if that is something you would like. Hope you've enjoyed this video, found it helpful or in any way informative, and if you have, then please just take one second, hit the like button below, and thanks for watching.